In this video, I will show you how to pick an SD card for your Mavic Mini that will give you the best bang for the buck. You will be able to use this video for your other DJI drones as well, as I will break it down for you, so you know what to look for after the intro. The way that the manufacturers are labeling the SD cards are sometimes uh, really difficult to figure out what's right and wrong. That's at least my impression from all the comments that I see popping up again and again about this topic. Fact is that recording video requires a maximum constant write speed to prevent frame drop during recording for smooth playback. And nothing is more frustrating than you have been out nailing that perfect shot only to find out when you come back home that your footage is uh, jerky and not smooth at all. Many will expect this is related to a bad camera settings like running with a too high shutter speed or even placing your footage on a wrong timeline. But it could be as simple as your SD card is not fast enough. The SD Association is an organization that has defined some standards that will help us consumers to pick the right SD card to ensure quality video recordings. By labeling the product with a recognizable symbol and a number indicating the minimum write speed, it's possible for us to pick the best card for reliable recordings. Meaning no more frame dropping. Card requirements are changing all the time with faster data rates. And right now there are three speed classes covering our needs from 720p to 8k video. The original was called speed class, then they added UHS speed class and and finally, the latest one to arrive, the video speed class. On most cards, you will find all the three speed classes on the label, which is kind of redundant information. But I guess the older speed classes are maintained for the ease of use with older devices. You sometimes see the letter A1 or A2 on the card as well, and that is related to application performance and is not really relevant for recording video. But just to explain what that means is that uh, at some point there was a need to be able to expand the storage on cell phones so they would be able to run applications directly off the SD card. And in that case, the card needs to be labeled either A1 or A2. According to DJI, the writing speed of the Mavic Mini is 40 megabit per second. This is slightly less than the original Mavic Pro of 60 megabit per second but it's way less than the Mavic 2 series, including the Air with 100 megabit per second. For the record, the Spark was only 25 megabit per second, but with that out of the picture, the Mavic Mini is the one with the lowest data transfer rate. That means less data, but it also means a cheaper SD card compared to the older siblings. So now the right question is, how do we pick the right card that's a good compromise between performance and price? I just told you that the minimum writing speed that we need for the Mavic Mini is 40 megabit per second. And to make it really easy for you, I have made a table based on information from the SD Association, I added the minimum writing speed in megabit per second, making it very easy for you to see what card that you need. As you can see from the area that I've highlighted, you need a class 6 or V6 card to handle the amount of data that the Mavic Mini can produce at 2.7K. I would personally go a step up uh, to the class 10, U1 or V10 just to be on the safe side, as the price difference is not that significant. And the good part about this information is that you might already have an SD card available that you have been using with your original Mavic Pro. So in that case, it's free of charge. You can just pay me back for that tip uh, hitting the like button. In case that you don't have any old cards laying around, I've included a few links in the description below with cards that I successfully have used in the past. As I promised you in the beginning, uh, you would of course be able to use the chart that I just showed for picking SD cards for your other DJI drones. So this video might be a nice reference for you to keep in case that you need to pick a card in the future. Also, if you know somebody else that could benefit from this information. By the way, did you see the video where I showed my exact workflow with Adobe uh, Lightroom Mobile, how to uh, create some uh, really great looking uh, drone shots? In case you missed that, you can access this through this card. Also, if you want to see other videos that are made about the Mavic Mini, I've compiled a playlist and you can access that one through here. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be back on the next one.